What's up, everybody? Old School NYC Gaming here with the 100th video special. Yeah, this might say 99, but today it's number 100. And I'd like to thank every single one of y'all for checking out my channel, commenting, subscribing, uh, you know, all that good stuff. Just checking out my channel and appreciating what I'm trying to do for the uh, gaming community. Now, today I'm going to be showing you guys a little tour of Video Games New York, which is located... In the East Village of Manhattan, New York City. Now, a lot of you, a lot of you have maybe heard of the store, or haven't even gone into it, but have heard of it. Uh, I'm one of the few people, and I like to thank Julio from Video Games New York for letting me come in and uh, film a little bit of the store and checking it out. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, you know, if you got any questions, just PM me. Uh, if you want to know more information, check out uh, VideoGamesNewYork.com. The uh, link will be down at the bottom there. If you have any more information. They do repairs, they have very good pricing, um, it's a lot of stuff on the site guys, it's stuff to check out, so uh, let's get to the tour, and we'll see you guys in a minute. What's going on everybody, Old School NYC Gaming here on location in the East Village in New York City, and we're going to check out Video Games New York as part of the uh, 100 video special here for the uh, Old School NYC Gamer YouTube channel, hope you guys have been enjoying uh, what I've been putting out so far. So as a thank you to you guys, uh, I pulled some strings to uh, take you guys on a little tour of the store. I know you guys have heard of it, uh, but haven't seen the inside of it really, so you will now. So uh, let's go inside and check it out. Uh, before we go in guys, I actually just wanted to show you some of the uh, storefront stuff here. Uh, they got some uh, consoles you can see there. Uh, got a PS2, PS1, you got the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Dreamcast. Sega Saturn and a uh, Model 2 Genesis and the Model 1 Genesis right there. You got a big old Sonic uh, layout right there for a store display. You got a Mario right there. Then you got some of the uh, posters here for the DS and even uh, the Gen Mobile if you guys have checked that out. Or the Gen Core, that's like the newest uh, one coming out. You can see it right there. You got the Retron 3. And you got an original uh, NES pad right there, guys. I'm sorry the uh, reflection's kind of killing it, but it's right there. So uh, let's go inside and check it out. All right, guys, so let's get to uh, open this up here. You see right there, uh, pretty small store. You see right there. Two uh, three little yeah. sections. We're going to go through all the sections one by one here. Oh, my God, this pack. <laughs> See right here, guys. One of the first things I wanted to show you. Even got a special here on uh, Xbox. You can buy uh, to get one free. Get one free. Uh, some of the Xbox titles you see here are pretty rare, uh, just depending on how bad you want it. You know, this is the one thing about the store. I know a lot of some people complain about it. Uh, you know, they're saying that the games are too expensive. Uh, I mean, there's a yes and a no to that, guys, because you got to remember this is in Manhattan, especially in this area. It's very, very pricey with the rent, and you know. If we were out in the middle of nowhere, I guarantee you these games would be a lot cheaper. But some of these games are rare and definitely worth grabbing. You see right here, guys? We got uh, Star Wars Knights 1 and 2. We got Star Wars Jedi Outcast right there. I mean, it just goes on and on, guys. It's like tons and tons of games. And you see right here, they're more of the lower price games right here. Here you got uh, one of my favorite games right here, True Crime Streets of L.A. Got The Sims. And the good thing here is, guys, they don't carry as many sports titles as like uh, some uh, video game stores do. I mean, they got a few, but not as many as you would think. They even have uh, Bruce Lee Quest for the Dragon, which is uh, one of my favorite Xbox games. And over here, you got the uh, Nintendo GameCube, guys. Over here, and you got a... <laughs> like I said, guys... Ton, tons of uh, games up in here. Hot. Oh, and we got uh, Pac-Man World 3 right there, guys. Let me uh, go try to zoom in on it right there. We got Pac-Man World 2 and 3. That's pretty cool. We got uh, X-Men Legends right there. Of course, uh, one of the games I got off of fellow YouTube, I got Resident Evil 4. That was pretty cool. We even got the bongos. Check that out, guys. We even got the bongos for uh, Donkey Kong. Right over there, if you can see that. 
And of course here guys, you got all the uh, Game Boy Advance games all up in here. You know 3 was all about the gay sailor. Yeah, 3 was all about the gay sailor. Yeah, the one that they... I mean, the US? No, they took him no, out. they took him out. They took him out. They took him out. For obvious reasons. We got Pac-Man World right there, guys. Put it zooming on a little bit. Sorry, it's coming to get out of focus there. Oh, the Pac-Man collection, sorry. That looks good. Then, under the uh, Game Boy Advance games, guys, as I'm going to try to scan through this as much as I can. You even got a few boxed uh, Game Boy Advance games right up in here. It's like really cool with the collection they got here, guys. And down here, you got the uh, good old Game Boy collection. And I just actually spotted a game I totally want to get eventually, guys. Blades of Steel for the uh, Game Boy. That's definitely one of my wants list yeah. right there. That's like RPG mode for those or what? Uh, it's a weird, like, Hack and Slash adventure. And then you got some, uh, some Game Boy box games right there. Let's see right there. Here we got the Game Boy 4, four player adapter right over there. Got the Game Boy printer. I've seen, uh... I think Sniffin Dude got this for a really cheap price, actually. Got a, got a, got a box at one of the uh, conventions that I missed the last week. No, we got some of the Game Boy Color games over here, guys. What would a video game be, guys, without your basic controllers? And they got a ton here, guys. They even got, uh... Some for the PS2. Yeah. I mean, they got some really cool like accessories here, guys. Sorry if I sound a little uh, offbeat. Just uh, had a long, long day at work. And you see here, guys, you can even get your Game Boy uh, printer paper. That's really cool. I've actually never seen this. It's pretty awesome. And then you got some super pads here for the uh, Sega Saturn, which I've actually uh, never seen this one before. Actually, I think actually I actually did get this, guys. And one of the uh, pickups I did a long, long time ago. And then uh, over here, you got your NES controller, your basic, and actually it's all for USB, if I'm not mistaken. And they got one here for the uh, Super Nintendo. And they got the Dog Bone NES controller right over here. And then they got one for the PC Mac. They got the uh, jumper pack right over here. And you got the second hand, uh, actually you got the official uh, Nintendo GameCube controllers, and then you got the second hand ones right over here. Your memory cards, converters. And all the way up here, guys. Uh, you they got a dance pad up there. Got a couple of light guns. Sometimes it'll run out the field. Whenever I have a feeling, I stop my foot in some little cool balls. That makes sense. It was Yeah. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you uh, some of the imports that they actually have here. They're really, really cool, guys. Some really rare games, too. Well, to me, it's rare because I've never seen a lot of these uh, import Japanese games. See right there. Of course, I can't read Japanese. I wouldn't know what these games are. We got a Metal Gear Solid right there, guys. As you can see, like I said, it's just tons and tons of uh, PS2 titles up in here. All right, guys. So we're over in the uh, PlayStation One uh, area, and you can see right here, guys. You see, of course, you got a uh, Metal Gear Solid right over there. And yes, guys, the collector's edition, original Grand Theft Auto. It's pretty sweet. 
Let's see here, guys. You got a uh, Mega Man Legend. Legend, sorry. Got the Buster Brothers collection right there. And I mean, guys, it's just uh, pretty sweet. All the uh, PS1 games they got up in here. It's a little busy in here, guys. So if you see or hear more background noise, I do apologize. Just wanted to give you guys just a quick uh, run through the store. So you now a few of you have asked me to check it out. And you can see you got some uh, Dreamcast uh, import Japanese games. There's like a nice little uh, lot of them over here. Let's see right over here. I'm trying to zoom. It's not as quick as it uh, should be. Then you got some uh, more import games over here, guys, on PS1. See, it's pretty cool, guys. You even got one su some stuff here for the uh, you can play imported games on your PS console. It's pretty awesome. Then you got Bomberman right over there. Duke Nukem. I see that one right over there, guys. And then even some of the original boxed uh, long PS boxes before they uh, started doing the jewel cases. Actually, it's pretty cool. You see right there, you got a Grand Theft Auto London. Got a bunch of the Final Fantasy games right over here. That Simon Field is one of my favorite PS games, including Driver. Got some Star Wars games over here. Okay, guys, so you can see here we're in the rare video game case, and you can see you got a ton of boxed Sega Genesis and NES games all up in here. It's got Space Invaders 91, Prince of Persia. I mean, you even got a sealed and wrapped Game Genie, guys. It's pretty cool. Then you got a bunch of loose, uh, got a bunch of loose rare Genesis games. Sorry, I'm on the uh, step ladder, so I'm trying to uh, show you guys a little bit of this. I mean, guys, this is like, whew. I have to step back just to show you how much is here. Then over here, got all the uh, Super Nintendo, which is quite a few of them here. Brutal Paws of Fury, Breath of Fire 2, Captain America and the Avengers, Dragon's Lair, Mario is Missing. And we've got Earthbound, guys. Check that out right there. And of course, we have... Uh, Bunch of Sega Saturn import games right here. And I mean, yet again, guys, there's just a ton of them in here. You even got the Game Shark right over here. And we got tons and tons of uh, Sega CD, Sega Saturn games right over here, guys. You even got uh, Panzer Dragon 2, Night Warriors, and Die Hard Trilogy. This is one of my favorite uh, Saturn games to play. We got a lot of imported games right here too. Of course, here you got some uh, 32x games. Or I just saw a couple of them. You got some more box Genesis games over here, and you got some uh, Sega Master System games. Got a Spellcaster. Even Zaxxon 3D. I wonder what, how that the gameplay would be for that, guys.